This is Rory Jennings finally admitting Graham Potter is clueless. Chelsea have two wins out of the last 13 games. We have now gone eight games without an away win. We have one win shocking. this year. This calendar year, Chelsea have won once. Oof. And that was a home game against Crystal Palace where we limped to victory. Yeah, they got one lucky. One win this calendar year. And guys, I don't care. Graham Potter has a good style of football that he might eventually bring into the team. But what he's doing right now, it's criminal. It is nearly Valentine's Day. This is getting ridiculous. This has to end at some point. This run or the setup. Something has Ooh. to change. We cannot keep going like it's this. Rory Potter because today out. it is about Graham Potter. Go on. I truly believe that today is about Graham Potter. Yes, finally, the today, penny's dropped. And he failed. There are reasons we can explore them. Chelsea yeah. were robbed. Chelsea were officially robbed today. VAR yeah, made a pig's yeah. ear of yet another yeah. decision. But yeah. Graham Potter had to get the result. It was essential. Hot. And Graham Potter afterwards saying, these things happen. What a bitch. Time. That's it not a Chelsea how it manager. Came by I'm sorry, by man. Crook, Graham That's not Potter a Chelsea needed manager. to find a way to victory. That is what elite managers do. That is what managers of Chelsea do. Yeah. Whether you deserve it, whether you don't deserve it, you get the victory. Yeah. He had absolute... This is the funny thing, though. Everyone before was like, no, no, we're, ch we're changing our way of football. Chelsea, we're moving on. No. The winning. The winning mentality. That's what it's about. Winning games like that. That's what it's about. Not, oh, trust the process. So the pennies finally dropped. The delusion is wiping away. Graham Potter. Absolutely no answers. And you know what? I am so bored... <sighs> Of hearing him. It's like different with Arsenal. Arsenal had time for their rebuild because the bar was already so low. Chelsea, they're a top team. They have no excuses. They spent so much money. There's not as much room for error as Arteta had. Chelsea are a different breed of club to Arsenal. Speak like a Brighton manager. I'm so bored of his team having absolutely no idea how to defend set pieces. And I'm so bored of him here, of him telling us how he's trying. I listened to a press conference of his the other day, and all he does is talk about how hard he is trying. He's trying to do this, and we're trying to do that. And as a team, we are trying. It isn't about trying when you here are, we go. in theory, here an we elite go. level manager. It this is, is what I've been saying forever. And then these Chelsea fans try to say, oh, no, no, we're changed now, we're changed. It's coming out now. It's not about trying when you are manager of Chelsea. You can try at Brighton. Here we go, yeah. At Chelsea, you succeed. <laughs> you succeed or you leave. They okay, it's are coming the out now. It's coming out now. All right. And this constant trying... It only took about a month of being in ninth, tenth place for you to finally realise, but it's all right. It's just mind-numbing. It's mind-numbing. <laughs> you don't get rewarded for doing your best at Chelsea. You're at the wrong club if you think that is the mentality Facts. of this club. This is a club that Facts. demands excellence from the top down. Facts. This is a club who have had some of the greatest managers to have ever lived steering the ship. You are following in the footsteps of some of the most elite, most wonderful, most talented, most gifted managers ever. So start <laughs> behaving like that. Start behaving oh, like a Chelsea manager. Flop. And that, that theory goes into your pre post-match press conferences. Yeah. He, he just doesn't care. Acquiesced to the fact that Chelsea... it's like he knows he's out of his depth. You look around on the training pitch: Joao Felix, Rhys James, Enzo Fernandez, with me. Oh, just get me some fifteen million pound player, so then I can feel like I'm the big man because they're down there. No, you're a big club now. That's why I said Graham Potter. The best move for him was a team like Tottenham. A lot of people said the same about Arteta, the reason he couldn't deal with big personalities. It seems like that's also the case with a manager like Potter. In Chelsea, you're not going to get weak mentality. You, you, you're going to get big personalities, I mean. Chelsea didn't get given a penalty. He acquiesced. He was like begrudgingly accepting of the fact Winning mentality, that Chelsea were robbed however. in this game. No, nah, you win some, you lose some. What are you talking about? You win some, you lose some. You see Arsenal now, they don't have the winning mentality. They're going to bottle it. It's absolutely not Chelsea mentality. How do you think Jose Mourinho reacts? If yeah. Chelsea were robbed, if Chelsea were not given a penalty in 2006 and VAR <laughs> existed, how would Jose Mourinho have reacted? Oof. And it isn't a Chelsea thing. This is about being the very best. This is about it being is. in that upper echelon, the top tier. 
the point one percent. This is what I said all along about Potter. Sir Alex Ferguson, good manager, not great. VAR exists. Cristiano Ronaldo goes into the box. There's a handball and he doesn't get it. How does he react in the post-match press conferences? He goes wild. He goes yeah. crazy. He makes a stink. So he makes a furore and so he demands Jose. better. You don't just accept that the game has been stolen from you by incompetency at refereeing level. You don't accept that. You have to make a stink about it. Look, there are he many have reasons the balls why Chelsea didn't win today. I'm sorry, many I've reasons. always said it all along. Wasteful finishing, terrible defence. Paul can get a nice trim. He can trim his beard. He can get a fade. But you're not fooling me. From set pieces. Graham Potter is certainly responsible. Uh, you're not terrible that guy. Finishing, terrible footballers. There are many reasons. But high on the agenda is the fact that Thomas Suchek has stopped a, a shot from Conor Gallagher with his hand. He has saved a shot in the area. Tuchel right now can and feel robbed. Imagine Tuchel with all this money. Were robbed. <laughs> Champions League would have been a wrap. That's worthy of conversation from our manager. Our manager needs to care about that, surely. And yet, it seems to pass him by. Put it in the chat. Are you Potter out? Chelsea mentality. I'll put it in the comments. He just is not conducting himself like he is part of the, the elite. He is not conducting himself like a Chelsea manager that I can remember. Honestly, in mm. my lifetime, I have S-D-A-E, never known man. this apathy S-D-E. in the dugout. I've never known it. You know, when we had when we had Glenn Hoddle, when we, even even managers that didn't work out, Villas Boas, Scolari, they didn't conduct themselves in this pitiful way. Pitiful. And it's, it's a worry and it's a shame because I thought today there were some positives. I thought there were times today where we looked really good for the first 20. I was watching that first half. I was thinking, God damn it. God damn it. Finally, 600 million euros later, Chelsea actually looked good. Enzo Fernandez, probably one of the best midfielders in the league. Joao Felix, probably one of the best centre forwards, attacking midfielders in the league. I was like, all right, fine. Any manager could make this team look good, but finally Potter might be getting there. They got a six foot four young, amazing centre back by the shield. They got Thiago Silva, one of the most experienced players in the league, won it all. Reese James, best right back in the world. Oh my god. They got all these brilliant players. Oh, they actually look good. What a surprise. It lasted a half. 20, 25 minutes, I thought we were excellent. I thought that we were going to coast a victory. You know, in the first half, we had the ball in the back of the net three times and nearly half of the team had it's been signed It's disgraceful how yet, poor Potter's there was doing a fluidity, with this team. There how was a movement, there was a cohesion and a connection between the players. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would win the league with this current Chelsea team. That I was delighted by. 100%. And then it all stopped. 100% he would. Then it all just fizzled. And then we were back to... The same old Chelsea that we have seen time and again under Graham Potter. It doesn't matter whether it's Nottingham Forest, where we were uninspiring and limped to a one-all away draw. It doesn't it matter no whether it was Fulham. Where we... You can take your team to an army camp, but if the person conducting the team isn't a general, your soldiers aren't going to listen. Your soldiers will not respect you. We were uninspiring and got That's beat like, away from Potter should have taken himself to an army camp, not those players. We're not scoring enough <laughs> his goals. His players were fine before we him. We are so, well, so I guess vulnerable not fine, at the back. But... Defending set pieces, we're just not there. We're just not present. Like, I was delighted Oops. to see that Thiago Silva signed a new, a new contract. Yeah. He's a beacon of light in this fairly dislikable Chelsea team. Oof. With somebody as incompetent as Cucurella. Oh, we are going yeah, to no. be vulnerable. <laughs> you see, Mudrick even liked the picture. Like, it was a meme of Kukurella not passing to Mudrick, but passing to everyone else on the team. Why would he ne- never it's pass Mudrick the ball? Like, it was great to see a joke. Will come on. I don't Simon. think he's good, but he's obviously a brilliant player. Simon he's obviously Bob. ten times What's a player of Kukurella. So we really do need to make something change. Side show, Bob. Make it work. I thought Felix was excellent, but... You know, I'm talking about the fluidity of the first half and how good Joao Felix looked. We you looked insane. A team that lost five of their last ten previous <laughs> home matches. 
<laughs> he's tired. He's but done Declan for. Got disallowed as well. You know, he's rightly disallowed. Declan Rice was offside. He but was. We should just be winning this game. And do you know what? At half time, I was live for this game. And on the stream where I was live, I was saying everything that Chelsea have done in the first half is excellent. Like, we've played really well. We've dictated the tempo. We've gone yeah, away. Yeah, I was at the end a little bit scared. I can't lie. London derby and bossed it. And that was all great, right? That had happened and that was brilliant. Now it's about the result. Now it's not about the new players bedding in or the fact that there's five new players in a starting lineup. You spend enough money, really you, well, need, you need results. Or the fact that the team are looking good and Mudrick's looking lively. And well, it's not about that anymore. We've seen that. That's great. Now it's about victory. Now, Graham Potter, find victory. Everyone finds victory against West Ham. Everybody. This is why I just can't stand these fans, though. I'm not saying him specifically, because I can't remember him specifically. Although I think he did. Say, no, we need to give Potter time. We need to give him Potter time. Trust the process. Two weeks later, what happened to giving him time? Body. Sense his I said from the start, Chelsea, you're not that club. You're not that club. You'll never be that club. You can pretend you're, you're an Arsenal or a small club who will give these managers time. That's not you. I guess if I was in Chelsea's shoes and this was Man United, I would actually want to give the manager time because we're more of a family club, I think. That's what, why we're kind of different. Might be why we've gone on a trophy drought. Maybe. But it's resulted in us getting Ten Hag. So we all know Ten Hag. Come up against David Moore. We'll be here for decades. Know you do it. Find the result. It isn't, doesn't matter how. doesn't matter whether it's scrappy. doesn't matter whether it's ugly. doesn't matter whether it's undeserved. Find the result, Potter. That is what you have to do here. And ultimately, yeah. he came up short. It's a results again. business. Chelsea are now in mid-table mid -table mediocrity. We Thanks. are completely irrelevant in any kind of Oof. Premier League conversation. We're not going down. We're not getting into <laughs> Europe. It's like I'm a kid all over again. It's like, it's like Chelsea in 1995. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If it's actually disgraceful, really isn't it? 600 million for mid-table. I'm pushing this video live this very second. As soon as it's live, I'm going straight into the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts. VAR, let me know your thoughts on this. I'm right, aren't I? We were completely robbed. Also very interested in your thoughts on Graham Potter.